guys, it's Blue Cat Cosplay. Comic-Con Africa and Brother have partnered together to give us cosplayers an amazing opportunity to try out their Brother FS60X Extra Tough Machine. Here it is! I'm really excited to test out this machine because of all the extras and all the awesome things that it boasts on the box as well as in the website descriptions on websites like Take A Lot as well as the official Brother website. Just by looking at this machine, I really like the clean, modern style um, of the plastic housing. It does have a bit of weight to it, so definitely got that heavy duty framework and motor in it. I really like that all your stitches are on display here and you don't have to go hunting through manuals or other parts of the machine to get to it. This display over here looks really nice and simple and easy to use and I'm excited to see if that pans out. We've got our free arm extra bit over here, which Super cool, excited to check out, see how that works going around hems as well as sleeves. We've got um, our tension dial up here. Looks like it's a really nice easy thread machine. It's got a drop in bobbin which is one of my favorite aspects of most modern sewing machines. And it's got an automatic needle threader which is also one of my favorite things. This machine claims that it can go through most heavy duty fabrics and I decided that I really wanted to put that to the test by sewing a pair of dungarees for my own little mushroom Halloween costume this year. So, with all that said, let's get into it. We're gonna get started sewing, and the first thing we're gonna do is sew the pockets onto the front of the pants portion of the overalls. Um, this is where we're starting according to the instructions of the pattern that I'm following, and I'm gonna try to stick to it as much as possible. I like to keep things pretty loose fitting, especially for this particular cosplay. So I'm going to reduce the seam allowance that's recommended. The pattern says 1.5. I'm gonna try to keep everything down to a one, maybe a seven, uh, so a one centimeter or a seven millimeter seam, except for pocket placement. That has to be tight. So we're gonna follow that. Um, the markings on the machine are pretty nice and very easy to follow. They're a little grainy and if you don't have the best eyesight then I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say good luck because your 10, um, we'll do a close up now, no? um, there's a 10 and a 15 and then completely nothing until your 30 millimeter which is a three centimeter and they also have um, American measurements, inches and eight inches which are pretty well known seam allowances. So, that's good to go. I'm using a straight stitch um, mm -hmm. with a 2.5 stitch length. That's uh, the strongest for seams without taking up a lot of thread, like a smaller, sti uh, shorter stitch length would. And yeah, I'm using the straight stitch number 01. Okay, I want a darker color top stitching, so I'm going to be re-threading the machine. It's very important that your tension dial is set to zero for this. I don't like that the handle up here doesn't come all the way out, but that's just me. We need the needle in its highest position for re-threading. And then bring it down, hook it around that, thread it through the little metal hook, it pulls it through the needle for you, reach through the back, and bam, insta-thread. Um, I love automatic needle threaders, they make life so much easier and they really do save your eyes. Don't forget to turn your tension back up to where it should be and with it, uh, with top stitching we'll want the stitch length to be uh, the needle placement in the middle and you want the stitch length to be up to 3.5. Use some pins to secure it just to keep it super flat even though you've ironed it. Ironing is very, very important part of the sewing process. It keeps your seams flat and neat and it makes your top stitching look much better.
guys, so I just got done using this machine and wow, it really, really lives up to the reputation. It really lives up to the promise that Brother has made. It is definitely an extra tough machine. I loved so much about this machine. The three speed function that we've got over here, absolutely awesome. For when you really, really wanna be careful and um, sure about where your stitches are going, the slow function keeps it so nice and slow. You could literally watch every stitch as it goes in. Absolutely awesome. And then the super speed, <laughs> I'm calling it super speed, you might as well be hyper speed. It's awesome for when you have those super long stretches of straight stitch and it's just going through basically on autopilot. I loved, loved, loved the automatic needle threader. Absolute lifesaver. I struggle with my eyes sometimes and it was just so easy to pull it down, loop it through, pull it out and your, your sewing needle is threaded. You didn't have to sit there focusing. Can you see the eye of the needle threading it through? I love that as well. Absolutely awesome. The tutorials in the manual were super easy to follow. I had to read through them once or twice in order to figure out how to use the button foot and which stitches work best with that, as well as the button hole foot. I needed to read the manual in order to figure out one or two other things just in terms of the machine. It's a little different in terms of stitching to how um, other machines that I've worked on before use this um, system. And I really enjoyed it. Super easy to follow, very, very easy to understand. You don't have to have a massive, amazing in-depth background of sewing and terminology in order to understand what's going on. So I really, really like those. The video tutorials for those that find a video, um, that find a video demonstration much easier to follow. Really nice, easy, step-by-step, -step, very, very helpful. Um, I really, really like the fact that for such a heavy duty machine, you have a lot more stitches than some other machines, especially when it comes to the decorative and functional stitches like the overcast foot um, and the overcast stitches because many people don't have overlockers, but they still want to finish their seams really nicely because of competitions and judging and even just personal pride. I don't like leaving unfinished seams not too comfortable. They kind of just fray against you. And that's another thing, overcast feet, overcast stitches, best thing to do if you have very easy to fray woven fabrics. The machine really lives up to its reputation as an extra tough machine. The dungarees that we made are made out of curtaining, as I said in the intro, so I really wanted to put this machine through its paces, testing a thicker fabric, and it managed to climb through eight layers of fabric at one point when we were doing the side seams and the buttonhole closures that we did there. It didn't stutter, it didn't skip stitches, it just, it just stitched as if I was going through one layer of calico. It was awesome. I really, really enjoyed that. And we didn't actually have to use like tension changing. We didn't have to change anything about the stitch length or width. Really, really nice. Like I said, just one layer of calico, that's how it felt like sewing. The automatic buttonhole, awesome. I love watching that thing work. Seriously, just measuring the button that you're going to use, shipping in there, and then it sews a buttonhole that's perfectly sized. Genius, lifesaver. I really, really enjoyed it. I love making buttonholes with automatic buttonhole settings. And um, this one comes with so many. If I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of buttonhole stitching. So it can work with any type of button that you need, whether it be jean stud buttons, sew on buttons, big chunky buttons with shanks, or flat sew on to like little hole buttons. Awesome. I really, really like that. Overall, I really liked working with this machine and I would love to be able to test out other machines by Brother in the same range, their embroidery machines, their scan and cut machines. If they have an overlocker, I'd love to be able to test that out. I cannot wait to show you guys the rest of the costume. So let's go.